Hey guys, Maniac here with GameAccess.net doing a midnight unboxing. Uh, I got something kind of special today. I picked this up at midnight. Um, this is the Metal Gear Solid HD Collection Limited Edition. And let me tell you, this does seem to be quite limited indeed. Uh, this is the PlayStation 3 version of the game. As far as I know, there will be and there is an Xbox 360 version as well. Um, but uh, that's as far as I know. That sold on. That sold out off of Amazon. This I picked up at the store. I would think it was like the only person to pre-order this. But um, who knows? This uh, this game itself is going to include copies of um, Metal Gear Solid 2, uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater, and uh, Metal Gear Solid uh, Peace Walker. Uh, these two games here were released for the PlayStation 2 ex uh, exclusively, although they did later re-release this on the Xbox and the PC. And uh, this has uh, only been seen on the um, on the what do you call it on the um, PlayStation Portable. So very very nice that they um, that they have released this game. These games, um, well, uh, Peace Walker was just re-released. For the longest time, these games were out of print and. Um, Right before Metal Gear Solid 4 came out, they re-released them on their original platforms. But um, now that's getting harder to do. It's getting harder to have those platforms. Nobody's got those platforms anymore. I, I'm sorry, some people never picked up a PlayStation Portable. And um, the PlayStation 3 doesn't support PS2 anymore. So um, they uh, decided to re-release it, update it in high definition for the new platforms. Um, which I think is just awesome and excellent. Now the cool thing about this is, is that actually they included with it the um, the art of the HD collection uh, book which um, includes a lot of the artwork which I will be showing you guys in just a few minutes so let's uh, crack this thing open and uh, see what we got shall we now if I could list one game and I've already written an article about this if I could list one game that really defined my childhood it was probably Metal Gear Solid uh, the original Metal Gear Solid for the PlayStation that game literally defined my 1999. I mean, I got a PlayStation for my birthday that year, and the only reason I got it as a you know I was from the P I was a PC user. The only reason I got it was because I wanted to play um, Metal Gear Solid on it. I had no interest in any of the other games for the platform, although there were plenty of other games I would become interested in after I got it. Um, I wasn't going to be told that I couldn't have that that game because I didn't have the system, so I got the system for my birthday and with my birthday money. I picked up the original Metal Gear Solid, and um, after I had beaten it that next year, uh, in 2000, on May 2000, was uh, during E3, they announced Metal Gear Solid 2 for the PlayStation 2, and I, think, I believe, if I remember correctly, that was my sophomore year of college, I'm sorry, of high school, and I was probably around 15 or 16 at the time, when I got to see that game be... Announced, I saw the first preview that they did of E3 for Metal Gear Solid 2. Um, that was probably one of the best days of my life. I well, at the, at that time, um, but I was just wowed by it. That was like one of the best trailers I'd ever seen, and um, that had to define. That just defined my uh, my whole experience. Um, this is the game itself, uh, the Metal Gear Solid HD Collection. Uh, this is how it would look to uh, non limited edition users. Um, looks like the back is pretty much identical. The game is rated T through M because I, I guess Peace Walker must have been rated teen. Back there for a second. Now this is, wow, this is what makes it the limited edition. Uh, this book. It's hardcover. Wow, that's nice. Um, if I remember correctly, Yoji Shinkwa was uh, the famous artist who did most of the um, famous art um, that we all know, especially since uh, Metal Gear Solid and on. Um, I'm trying to see if there's a name included in this. I would love, oh boy, to get Yoji Shinkwa to sign this if I ever met him personally, but I don't think he's ever been to the United States. Wow. That's, this is just Wow. Hardcover, dude. I would put that right here. You know, I would put that right here with the rest of these art books. This is this just looks amazing. This, wow. Uh, I don't want to show too many of the images for copyright reasons, but let's uh, let's open this up. 
let's let's see what we got in here now um, as far as I can tell the only thing that actually makes uh, this the limited edition as opposed to the regular edition which you're seeing here the game the same games are included on each one yeah each each copy you buy whether you pay um, whether, you, whether you pay for just the regular edition, which is this, or the limited edition is this, uh, this is, uh, retails for about 50 bucks, um, this retails for 50 bucks. Now, that sounds kind of weird, since aren't, aren't most of the bundled collections nowadays going for, let's say, um, uh, 40 as opposed to 50, and that's the truth, except most of those bundled collector's editions that you see in the stores nowadays, be it the God of War, uh, bundle, or more recently, the Shadows of Colossus and Ico uh, bundle, and of course the upcoming Silent Hill bundle, which they're updating um, for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox, and uh, they just recently announced that they're doing an Xbox version of that as well, so it's not just coming to the PlayStation 3. At least not. Uh, those games only include two games. Um, in both, in all those cases, those are just two game, uh, two game bundles as opposed to. This is a three game bundle. Um, there's more than just Metal Gear Solid uh, 2 that's being released with it. Metal Gear Solid 3 is being included and uh, Peace Walker. And uh, these are all last generation games updated for the now generation. When Metal Gear Solid came out, um, sorry, when the Metal Gear Solid bundle came out last year, and um, let's see if I have it over here to compare it to. Let's, uh, let's walk over here just for a split second, shall we? Uh, this is it right here. Let's, uh, let's take a look at just this quickly, if I can. Uh, this is the Essential Collection. Um, it's marked for the PlayStation 2, but really it does include one PlayStation 1 game. Um, Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid 2, and Metal Gear Solid 3 are included. Uh, this costs 40 bucks, I mean, maybe 30 at the most, but I'm fairly certain if I remember correctly this was 40 but you know what, it might have been 30 I Now that I think about it, I think it might have actually been $30. Um, this is literally untouched, the, the original games. The only downside of this was, uh, this collection, they kept this intact. Uh, they kept this completely intact. This, however, was the subsistence version of uh, Metal Gear Solid 3. And they didn't, include the, they didn't include the second disc, which was about half the fun of that. Um, if you wanted to know what the subsistence version of Metal Gear Solid 3 looked like, I don't see it. Mm. I thought I had it. I don't see it anymore. Um, that's weird. That's really weird. Uh, I'll have to deal with that later. I thought I had it right here on this shelf, but I guess I must have moved it. Um, yeah, so this uh, will include all that, so there shouldn't be too much of a problem. There was a bonus disc with the collector's edition as well, but uh, I think they got rid of that. Um, other than that, uh, this is actually a pretty good deal. Um, it does include the um, the PSP version, which you'll see. I think that's it right there of Peace Walker. Uh, other than that, uh, this is the games. I was kind of hoping maybe they would uncensor it and stuff like that. These are formatted for HD now, but um, other than that, I think it should be okay. So, how would I rate this? It's eighty dollars uh, US. Uh, which is a $30 premium over the uh, regular edition. So with that premium, you basically got the book and the nicer case. I'll take it. I would call that a required. That is a really, really sweet looking book. Um, I've seen similar hardcover books go for that as well. I am a huge art book fan, and that looked like a really, really well-made one. If it was including a very small one like you've seen on some of those other collections, even ones that ended up in like uh, other games... Um, I probably would not have said that, but this looked fantastic. So, I gotta give it that. So, until next time, guys, this is ManiacWithGameAccess.net. Uh, over and out.